about Mickey dolls was I was probably like four years old and I had a baby alive doll which back then I didn't use her very often just pretend this is my dolls Jenna my doll Jenna and my doll and my doll Mary so I didn't really play with my dolls I preferred things that boys liked like like I did stuff like I watched stuff that more that and played with things that boys normally played with but until one day I decided you know what I'm just gonna go play with some dolls so I did and then I realized you know I like playing with my dolls I kind of messed around with them and I realized I like these so I played with them and then I got but then I got more into dolls. I would go on YouTube and I would search up baby alives because I know it and that I actually knew what these dolls were called. So I'm like baby alive videos. I would like search that up and watch a bunch of baby alive videos made by some people I even still watch to this day. So I watched a bunch of baby alive videos and then more. got the year was 20s. I, it was still 2016. I was still five year old and I wanted to make my own YouTube channel. I pretended that I had a YouTube channel. So I would be like, hey guys, it's Piper here and my really cringy voice. And I would like play with the dolls and like, if like make pretend like school with them. I would play school with my dolls. I would do a lot of things that I sometimes still do. I was, it was in 2017, and I was playing with them. But then I watched a bunch of videos, and I remember this distinctly. I was watching a lot of Baby Alive videos, and then I realized, oh my dog, this is a snack. And then I realized that they made a boy Baby Alive that you could actually find in stores. So I'm like, oh my gosh. Then I told my dad about that, about it, and that, like, and then I'm like, dad, they sell a new Baby Alive. I told him all about it, and... He's like, come on, Piper, let's just go to Walmart and see if they have them. So then we go to Walmart. But when we got, we got to the Walmart, though, we didn't see any Baby Alive. We did not see the Snack and Luke's. And I guess it was because the Walmart that we went to didn't have them, I guess. So I guess the Walmart that we went to didn't have them. So my dad was like, come on, let's go to the front desk and maybe then we'll have them. So my dad just, me and my dad just walk up there. Then we walk up there and we ask the lady there if they had any snack and loops. So I bet my dad said something like this. Um, yeah, my daughter is really into baby alive and we were wondering if you had the new snack and Luke one. And they were like, oh, sorry, we don't have them right now, but... Once we do have them in stock, you guys can come and pick it up. So, yeah, but then I, it was in 2017, and school was going to be starting for me soon, and I know that. I remember that. Until one day, I remember this. This was in my living room. I remember this one time that my dad came back and opened the front door, and I saw the snack, and Luke was like, <laughs> probably that was my reaction, because I wanted this doll so bad. And then... I'm pretty sure me and my sister, like, did an unboxing video of that doll afterwards. And let me tell you, I was so excited to get this doll that I even made Luke his own bed. I'm not even joking. I made, I got him his own bed, but I didn't really have any clothes for him because the only dolls I had then were girls. So I didn't have any of her clothes until one day my mom and we went to Walmart and I picked him out of her outfit. So, um, that's good that at least Luke had two different outfits to change into, which actually I still have Luke to this day and you probably already know him. So yeah, I was really excited and I was glad that he was actually my first, like second ever Play-Doh eating doll because the only other Play-Doh eating doll I had was my Snack and Sarah. So yeah, and let's just pretend that my Snack and Sarah doll is this LPS cat. Because she looks, if my Snack and Sarah was an LPS, she'd probably be this one. So yeah, and I like introduce Luke to everybody and be like, oh yeah guys, this is your new brother. So yeah, this is, yeah guys, this is Luke. And I was like doing something like that. Until one day I kind of ruined his eye. 
I was like seven years old and I had my dolls out at the pool and then I kind of messed up his eye. And I was disappointed in myself with sunscreen. I don't know why I didn't think that would be, I don't know why I thought that was a good idea, but I was like putting sunscreen on my dolls, which guys, please don't put sunscreen on your dolls so their eyes won't get messed up because I have um, done that before. So yeah, and I remember this one day I decided to feed Sarah and Luke both at the same time. I remember that. And basically, yeah, and I really, the cool thing about the snack and Luke is then whenever you pressed on a spoon, whenever you press on their spoons, they kind of go in to the fruit that you would, like, Play-Doh fruit stuff that you feed them. It's, it would actually disappear in his mouth, so that's pretty cool. Here so was yeah. 2018, I was seven. This LPS is the same color gray. I was seven years old, and I did this whole, like, doll school thing. I remember this thing. I remember this day. It was on my Tufan thing, and it was in L Wells at the time. Those things are now those things now creep me out. If you want the best me. representation I can do with my 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 bunk bed, which yeah. So basically, what I did is me and my nana, like what we did is that my nana. Let's just pretend this gray short, this gray cat is my nana, the nana. Let's just pretend this blonde cat can be my Nana, I guess you could say. Alright, let's just get Nana. We got the Nana cat here. And I remember this one time, I was doing something, like, I had song. There was a song that we used to sing at school. I forgot what it was called, but I don't remember it, but it really well. But I think it was called, like, something with, that has to do with the sun. I don't really remember, but I had my Nana be like, I was like... Nana, go search up that song! Because I sung it at school a lot of the time. I would sing it there. So, yeah. And I remember this one time that I was, like, playing with my dolls. It was, like, show and tell day or picture day at school. And I always had before, like, then. Back then, I had my doll Sarah be, like, the bad girl, like, the bad kid. So, like, I made her, like the bad girl and that she would break the rules at school you get the idea like the bad kid at school like the troublemaker at school kind of thing. yeah basically i would always have my doll sarah be like the bad girl she you know she would break the rules and stuff i remember this one time it was like picture day and she was saying rude things about like the new students at school and stuff i i think i was really bad at editing i did not even know how to edit videos back then that's how bad this video was and like i had her I had, like, my loft bunk be, like, the principal Nana's office. And sometimes when I play school off camera with my dolls, I still do that thing. Like, yeah, make them go to principal Nana's office. So I was like, Sarah, go to principal Nana's office. Brought her down there, and, like, she's like, Nana, my Nana's like, Sarah, go sit in the timeout corner. And I made her sit there. So, yeah, I remember that. Fast forward, I was, next, I was eight, and I still had my loft bed, but then we got rid of it because it just took up so much space in my room, so, and then I moved into my sister's room, which is much larger than my old room, and I didn't know how I survived in there for I, years. I was now eight years old. I was now nine, and I was now in my sister's room. Um, then I just was like, you know what? I decided that I, my friends, I would go ahead and I made these little videos like pretending I had subscribers and views and got views on my videos and yeah. I used my um, tablet to make these or like my I iPad to make these or an iPad to make these. Yeah, they were bad. But yeah, I use, yeah, but now, anyways, now. Whenever I got my Amazon Fire, I got a 5-inch, and I decided to make LPS videos, and obviously these were not the great quality. These were pretty bad quality, not throwing shame at anyone that likes Amazon Fire tablets, but I was filming with, with, and I also got, this, I'm, and then, yeah, I was playing with LPS and stuff, and they baby lie videos with my iPod, with, not my iPod, my Amazon Fire Basically, tablet. And I filmed baby live videos, but then early 2020, like March, I realized in early, early April, like 
March. I decided that I'm like, you know what? My Nana has a YouTube account and I'm like, you know what? I should probably post on this account because she doesn't use it. So after getting things sorted out, I decided I'm gonna make a YouTube channel. I'm gonna post stuff on my channel. And I told my parents about it, so yeah. So then I decided, what should I call my channel? And I decided to call it LPS Kit and Meow Studios. I decided to call my channel LPS Kit and Meow Studios, and I decided to make doll videos on there as well. My first, like, real official doll video on there was... Let me actually check what that video was. The real official doll video I ever made was Milo Does Dares Episode 1. And that was literally the literal official Baby Alive video I ever made. Sure, and I also made a video about Milo asking for people to ask him for dares. So, I was on my, my, nan, my nan's bed. I was like, hello. And I basically did that video, and it got like 75 views on it. And I got some dares, and I decided to film the dares video on my trampoline. So that, my friends, is my doll slash how I got on YouTube story. I hope you enjoyed.